Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve error coming across an error message on your Windows computer. This is a Windows could not start the Windows audio service on local computer, followed by error code 0x8000706. The endpoint is a duplicate. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, should come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process and now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. And now you want to go down to current control set and double click on that. Should be a services folder in here. Double click on that one as well. And then finally, there should be an audio SRV folder. So again, it should say audio SRV right here. And if you need to take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've gone under to get to this point. You want to double click on the depend on service on the right panel here. And then anything that does not say RPCSS, go ahead and delete it. So again, the audio endpoint builder in our case, I'm just going to delete it and then backspace whatever is here. And again, just make sure it says RPCSS, and that should be the only thing in the value data field here. And then once you have that, go ahead and select OK to save that. And you're gonna go and restart your computer at this time. So close out of everything and then restart your device. So there you go guys, pretty straightforward process. Do a buzz will help you out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.